Morning everyone. Today's going to be a little bit of a difficult day for us. It's already 75 degrees out and the humidity's at 90% and the temperature's supposed to reach 90 degrees today. And we have a bunch of uh, larger yards today so it's going to be a little tougher on us when we're out there weed whacking because of the humidity being so high. And it's not going to take much for us to get a, a good bead of sweat going just by trimming around the trees. So we're going to be uh, working a little slower today and taking our time today and try to stay hydrated because uh, this heat's going to get to us really fast. Because we're used to the 75, 80 degrees with the low humidity and once you put the high humidity in there, it gets real tough on us. So uh, let's get the trailer loaded up and let's get started. Okay, this morning we flipped our route around again just to do the yards that are way out in the country where it's going to be the hottest today. We want to get them done first. And something's been happening and started last week. We're getting calls for snow removal and uh, leaf cleanup already. And uh, we're a little early on um, phone calls, but they're already coming in. And the problem we're having with that is we can't take any more on. You know, it's, it's, you know, I guess it's not a problem, but, you know, for, we, we hate turning down work, but we just can't take any more work on. Because <clears throat> uh, the fall cleanup, if it snows early, like it did last year, I can't get them all done. And I like to get them all done, that way it's not a big of a mess in the springtime. And then uh, snow removal, yeah, I, I have about 10 driveways too many already, and I cannot do any more, because, you know, my, for, when it, uh, we get about four inches of snow, I'm in my truck for 17 hours, and uh, I don't care to be in my truck that long anymore. I just don't care to work that many hours. It, you know, it takes, um, I've done it for 20 some years, and it's time for us to slow down. And that's why we're uh, downsizing our lawn care a long ways. <clears throat> and then for next year, we're gonna be downsizing even more, because it's time to slow down. Yeah. There's lots of work for anybody that's looking to make extra money. You know, just get a small mower and a trimmer and a leaf blower and, and just set yourself up because there's lots of work. Yeah. Always people looking for lawn care and yeah. leaf cleanups especially. Yeah, the and leaf... there's lots of money to be made if you just give yourself a chance. And the leaf cleanup is uh, the most time consuming. It's, it's hard work, but it's more time consuming than anything else. So you can only have so many hours in a day when that starts because of uh, the amount of daylight you have in the fall. But uh, we've been working, oh, we, had a, we had a break when the drought there, we're only probably working 35, 40 hours a week. And most generally we're working 60 to 70 hours a week with everything that we do. And that's just too many hours to be working anymore. Springtime, it's uh, 80 to 90 hours a week, and it's uh, I don't want to do that anymore. Like I said it's time to slow down, so uh, we're gonna go uh, get some more of these big yards out in the country here, and uh, hopefully, get, end up in the small ones here real fast before uh, the heat hits too high. Okay, we just uh, skipped over two yards, we have not cut them in three weeks. You can still see our tire tracks from when we were there and it has not grown and it's got a pretty nice brown color to it so so this area must not have got rain no nope, they did not get any rain because it's nothing has grown in three weeks at all now there's a couple weeds that are tall but that's it so uh there's still some areas that didn't get any rain again i guess and uh there's supposed to be some rain next week, I guess. Maybe there might be a little, there's a small chance later on this week, but um, next week they're supposed to be getting some again. But uh, that keeps changing on us. And with the temperatures the way they are right now, uh, humidity dropped quite a bit, but it's still up there a ways. But uh, you know, it's gonna be 90 degrees today. With and, sun. With sun, and it's gonna dry up the rest of this whole area here, so. 
Uh, we probably won't be back here for another two to three more weeks yet, again. So they're going to be over a month on these yards that we haven't cut. And just not all areas are like that, just some areas. So uh, we're going to the next yard that is uh, a little overgrown. Okay, we cut that yard that was supposedly overgrown. Our customer calls told us it was overgrown. And it was, no, it was not overgrown because I didn't have to bag nothing. And then we just ticked on another yard that we're skipping over because it's uh, brown. And uh, we're, we're in the area right now, we're gonna hit a lot of them. So we're gonna stop home for lunch right now. And uh, we have just a handful of yards left for the day. There's one yard that we have to trim the arborvitaes, and we're just going to trim that up. So I'll probably get a video there. As uh, the lady's been wanting me to trim it up because of last winter, the deer ate all the bottom part off, and she wants to even it up. So um, we're going to go for lunch, and we'll probably get over or see you there, I guess. Okay, we finished our lunch and went out and did a lawn, and uh, it's not nice though. 88 degrees oh my goodness really you freaking idiot uh let's see that's at 1 30 that one will be right on uh that one will be on uh video there too just like i did yesterday but anyhow we ate our lunch went out and did a yard uh there's no breeze it's just uh 88 degrees feels like 94 is what the my uh, weather map or uh my weather app says and uh I do not believe I'm going to be doing them shrubs today. It's just uh, too warm for me. How's that? Um, I see there's a little bit of breeze blowing out. We got away from where but we were at. But it's hot air. But it's hot air, so it just feels like a blast furnace. But um, I know that people that live in the southern states are used to this weather, but uh, other people that live in the north, we're not used to this weather. You know, we probably could get used to this weather if we had it every day, but we don't have it every day. We don't have it a few days out of the month or a couple days of the week or whatever. So we don't get used to it very easy. You know, and a couple summers ago, we were used to it. It was 87 degrees every day for a, about a month and a half, two months, and we were used to it because it was that temperature every single day. But uh, since it's not that ever temperature every single day for us, uh, I'm not used to it. And not as young as I used to be, which I said that before, and. Uh, I feel it all the time. So uh, I'm going to set you up at this uh, small commercial account here. Uh, you've seen this before, but uh, this is one where it's a, not a nice ditch either. So I'm just going to get you set up and uh, I'll be uh, weed whacking through the whole ditch here.
got done with that yard, and yeah, I'm worked up now. Vicky's really mad, she thinks. The whole time she was out there mowing on the moor, she was getting bit by flies. So, yeah, we've got three left. Some, something like that, two or three left. And it's gonna be a shorter day for us, which uh, is good because, yeah, this stuff is uh, taking its toll on us really, really fast. So, uh, we're gonna have a little bit of a break, about two minutes between this, next, this yard and the next one. So, and then uh, we got three yards left to do. I think. So anyhow, uh, depends on how burnt they are. Yeah, that's true. Forgot about that part. So potentially three yards left to do, and if they're burned up, uh, I don't know what we're gonna have left. So off to our next yards. All right, double busting. I see it was all down down there. We're on our down countdown now. The last yard we just got done here. Uh, Vicky was raking all the mulch back up into uh, the flower beds because the deer, the rabbits, and turkeys got in there and spread it all over of course. And they're eating her rose bushes and all her flowers, so I gave her the recipe, the Irish Spring Soap. Gotta try that. Yeah, they made a mess. There was mulch everywhere. So. Anyhow, we only got two yards left. It's at 91 degrees. Humidity jumped way up again, and the breeze quit again. 91 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, it's just too hot for this old boy. But anyhow, we'll go uh, check out two yards here. The one I'm not so sure if we're going to be able to cut. The other one, well, both of them are going to be kind of iffy. Well, we'll see uh, what they look like when we get there. Okay, we got to them two yards and they're all burned up and we can't cut them. So that's the end of our day. We're done early. We're done about two hours early. Uh, yeah, about two hours early. We skipped over, what, five lawns? Like that ball five lines, I think we skipped our four for sure. And uh, them last two lines, we haven't been in, been to them in two weeks. And if we don't get any rain, we won't be cutting them next week. But if we do get rain, we will cut them next week. So I rain. think next week we're supposed to get a couple days of rain. Yeah, I hope it, hopefully we do get a couple days of rain next week. But so it's going to be hit and miss here for the next couple of days or next week or so because of the temperatures being in the upper 80s, lower 90s, and high humidity and the sun beating down on these yards. And today there was just really no breeze to speak of. You know, a few spots there was here and there, but other than that, there's not much breeze at all. So it made it for difficult for us to work, but we got through it as always. So uh, that is going to be the end of our video for today. I thank you for watching and subscribing. If you can check out the links in the description box below, it would be greatly appreciated. And have a good evening. See you at the next yard. Goodbye.